Hello. This would be Rojo. I am Yael. And greetings. And greetings. It is still largely Max, but I have asked Max to make pauses and take downloads from me so I would have a chance to participate. Ah, nice to have you done and Tyler. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Dan, are you channeling? Very lightly. Uh huh. What but, is uh, your approach? Um, it's kind of a, a breathing, a relaxation. But I feel that when I'm with others that are channeling, if I help kind of facilitate their conduit, like if I, I feel like I'm assisting their their conduit a little bit, that that it assists me in the process. So I was kind of kind of doing that uh, here recently and today. So. Hmm. Um. What would be your preferred way of improvisation. Oh, I was I kind of feel like trance channeling would be the best, but I I kinda have a portion of my mind that thinks I need to go through all these other steps before I get there and I don't know if the steps are even right or necessary. It's kind of an odd state so then I kind of get uh, perplexed or neutral about it I don't really go forward or backwards I just kind of sit still and just um, open to the experiences that I'm having then hmm. Tyler do you want to participate in that conversation now well right now I'm uh, attempting to connect to you directly Mm. So you want me to be at the same at the two? How does that work? Do you have to actually at adjust the same your frequency? time? Not mm. necessarily come into me. I'm ah. just trying to pick up on your energy. Ah. Perhaps see you. I like seeing y'all. All right. Good. Imagine me stretching my hands towards you in that gesture. See, I would see us embrace. Nice. Would you embrace a human? Yeah, we... We like touch. Our preferred mode of touch is just a slight touch on the upper shoulder or lower shoulder. That's like a handshake for you. An energetic exchange. It's very gentle, non-invasive, and obviously you would touch someone, you would sense first. You would come, if, if you don't know, you would come and just approach a person and see how would they feel about being touched. And I if see. they like that, you would proceed. You don't need much more. We are much more telepathic, so embracing doesn't add anything to us. We are exactly like your English man. We, we don't touch as much but but the slight touch is very very common among us just a, a gentle one yes yeah and then just looking eye to eye and communicating telepathically 
We also have, have uh, go ahead, yes, please. Say again. Go ahead if you want to say something. Uh, last night I had a yayo um, show up in my room to help open my heart up. So wonderful. It was beautiful. Do you know their name? Mm mm. I think mm mm no. I didn't stay in that state of vibration for long though. I had to sleep. But um, I did ask. I can push through Max the name Result. Result. Like result, but result. Oh cool. Um Take it with caution because the channel is messy both ways. But of that course. should do for now. That'll work as a permission slip. Yes. So, Dan. Yes. Uh, it's, I guess, the question would be is your life experiences of the past which you repress now, are you overdoing the repression of the past? I'm sorry, say that I'm getting, am I doing what? Redoing it? Oh, no. It seems like you have many experiences of the past, of this life, of this life which you are repressing. And that could be one of the reasons you're, you're, that mellow, the excitement in your tone is not that pronounced. Is it possible that you are over repressing the past? Uh, some past, there isn't anything I can do anything about with it because the, uh, the people involved are, are no longer around to even worry about it kind of it kind of goes moot then um, other portions of past um, some I hold on to some are easier to let go some I, I cling to and I'm not sure why I cling to some of it it, it actually doesn't serve me at all uh, but I maybe it's because it's unresolved it still bothers me I'm, I'm not sure why What I sense, forgive me for going that much into your personal no, it's okay. uh, space, but what I sense is kind of your excitement is somewhat blunted, somewhat dimmed, somewhat moderated. You seem to be repressing. You're balanced. You're overbalanced compared to others. Your balance seems to be static. And I wonder what, if you would like to make your balance more dynamic, more into action, more into excitement. Yeah. That yeah, would that mean would some be, energy, I would say. Yeah, that would be nice. And my question was maybe. Okay, I will give you an example. Okay. A room full of people, mm -hmm. some young gentlemen, some older gentlemen, some gentlemen which are um, interested in women and some gentlemen which are shy. A nice, attractive lady comes into the room. Mm -hmm. And what is interesting, some gentlemen become repressed only because they are afraid of thinking that she is attractive. And others who have more integrity, who are not afraid to be attractive because they know they have integrity. They get excited in a positive way, but, but with integrity. Mm -hmm. you see the point. So, so that repression, self-repression, sometimes it is counterproductive and 
here the channeling is like a beautiful lady and you seem to be repressed thinking about her about her hmm. i'm not saying that channeling would be your highest excitement it's up to you of course i'm just thinking that you sound a little overly compensating overly balanced overly quiet is it right <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. I, I, I think I have a, a mental idea that channeling would be more of a feeling. I, I like um, when I am experiencing like a, a higher energy, another another level. I don't seem to be like in another uh, trance space. I still seem to be in my space when I. When I think I am most conducive to channeling, I, I, I seem to just not really go anywhere. I just seem to just stay there. Even though it's a heightened space, it's, um, yeah, it doesn't really go anywhere. It's like I keep going to the same high spot, and then I just, like, I plateaued at this spot. I assume, are you having a person nearby who is ready to receive your channeling or you're trying to connect and be yourself a receiver i've been putting the call out to um i've been putting the call out to my uh my soul collective to call in uh the highest being or beings that my my vehicle can channel and i've been putting that message out for a while and then I'm not really sure if I'm receiving anything yet. Um, during one of the webinars recently, uh, Jim was channeling Takur, I believe, and Takur said, or it may have been Lakesh. I'm not, it was one of the either one or the other. And they said that uh, a telepathic bridge was being built through fourth <coughs> density for the information to flow and that I was being worked on and then soon I'll be able to use that bridge uh, and that's all I know about it that, that just that's just it yes ah you didn't answer my questions maybe I, I I'm sorry I didn't say it right but you raised another interesting topic who to channel are you attracted to idea of channeling humans from um, who are no, no longer living in 3D, like uh, souls of people who lived before? Not so much them. I'd be more interested in a higher being, maybe uh -huh. not even a human, uh -huh. perhaps uh, another person or a um, another dimensional being from somebody in my line. Uh huh. I um, again, I'm. I have to apologize. The connection is not very reliable, but it looks like a young uh, Liron lady, lady uh, with a name, nickname Impala, uh, would volunteer to speak through you if you would be available. Um, to connect to her, let me ask her, her for a symbol, a permission slip. Okay. Mm. Mm. I'm crystallizing it. Just a moment. That would be two cones, two cones. One upside down. One is kind of on normal state, intersecting. They are transparent cones, and ah, 
and in the middle, in the center, would be the ball of a small ball of light, possibly golden light. Can okay. you see that? So two transparent cones intersection. They have intersection. the same axis. And right it's kind where of one the going th into another, one cone going like that, another cone going like that, and they just intersect. So, so yes, they right. they are right. penetrate one each other. So forming a conical space in, inside. Oh, in the ball of okay. Light. All right, and then the ball of light is inside the. Yeah, the, the center of that, of that design. Okay. Okay, because I was looking at it with the points being in between the points, but it's actually oh, no. No, they completely intersected each other fully, and then it's the light in the center of that. Okay. And the color of the cones would be bluish. The bottom is a little more reddish, purplish, and high, uh, top one is more bluish. Kind of like a hyacinthine and then a bluish, okay, with a golden light in the center. Okay. So... Impala. Ah, um, so my question was, it is very helpful to have a human nearby who would guard you while you're going into a trance state and when you're there asking questions, being ready to receive the information. You understand? I don't really have a human available. Mm. How did Max find the human? How did Max find you? Oh, you mean just online? Find somebody online and do? Okay. Not in person, not an in-person human, but somebody just nearby? Okay. Of course, there is. There are meetup groups everywhere. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's somebody on the internet would be would be much more <laughs> common. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Like Reiki people, like Reiki share people, yeah, open to those things too. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Any questions you have? No. Should I be focusing on this, these cones and colors right now, or shall I be saving this information for a later time? You can save it. Okay. Yes. All right. Hmm. Any more questions? Any no. topics to discuss? No, not, not for me right now. Max, I want to talk about health. Yes. Any particular topic you wanted to bring? Kundalini energy. I've heard has been used for health purposes, healing. Yeah. Any suggestions on activation, perhaps, for those who haven't? That's a nice link between the previous conversation and Kundalini conversation. The key, one of the keys, is to have a very clear, very pragmatic purpose. If you want to channel, it's nice to have someone listening who really, really, really wants to get certain answers, who is really excited about being able to talk to higher beings. Higher is not a good word. Other dimensional beings. Right. Same thing with Kundalini activation. Just for the fun of it, it's, yes, it's a good exploration, but if you have a higher goal. That would be. Thank you. Such as healing cancer. Ah. Any, 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 any goal, any specific goal, which is dear to you. It doesn't have to be that. I mean, I guess you're asking for yourself, so, or not. No, for a friend. 
Ah. Mm. All right. What kind of cancer would that be? Lung cancer? Ah. Does uh, do we know about that person? No. They're very three dimensional. Ah. Obviously, a high vibrational answer to a three-dimensional person would be to eat healthy. First, first thing to mention is that <coughs> conventional medicine is doing great progress recently and success rate in curing many forms of lung cancer some forms of lung cancer is is rising so staying on the top and having multiple opinions by different experts especially the key word is immune therapy it's now making great progress Well, let's say, so conventional medicine is in, I assume it's in America, is making great progress. Uh, eating healthy, oh, there is much to say here, obviously. But again, if it is a three-dimensional three -dimensional person, then place an intention into eating is sort of might be too much to ask, but placing intention and making the food a, a healing tool would be an advisable thing, especially doing a prayer and a Reiki on the food before eating it would be a great advice. Very good. Um, how could three-dimensional person all right one minute then thank you i have to wrap up i'm sorry uh, i would say yeah kundalini could be an excuse to opening up especially when cancer hits that could be here is the answer it's not the answer, it is a permission sleep, but it is a great permission sleep. When a person is hit by a cancer, it is a tool of awakening. When you face the death in foreseeable future, unexpected, then you start looking for for the answers and for the higher meaning in life. So. Maybe this is taken by the higher self on the soul to awaken it. And as soon as that awakening is happened, then the cause can, the health problem can go away because the awakening has come. Wow, that's beautiful. Right? Right. So Kundalini could be a great permission slip to be open into energies. It's an easy because it's connected to sexual orgasm. So what can be easier to connect to energies, right? Right. Right. So I, I'm sorry. No worries. I have to wrap up. I bless you. I welcome the source within <laughs> each of you. Thank you for joining us. I send you love. Thank you. Much love and butterflies. Thank you. I don't know. Oh, the microphone is on the headset. <laughs>